Porsche's CEO, Oliver Bloom, has recently sparked major interest by introducing a hydrogen combustion engine that could be a game-changer for the automotive world. This breakthrough arrives as electric vehicles, EVs, continue to dominate conversations about the future of transportation. While hydrogen-powered cars aren't a new concept, Porsche's move represents a bold advancement in the field, one that might shift the industry away from a pure focus on electrification. The stakes are high for this innovation, impacting not only Porsche, but the entire car industry, as it reopens the debate on whether EVs are truly the best long-term answer for sustainability. Enjoying the content? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest updates. Join us for more insights and exciting news. Be part of the community today. The car industry is facing immense pressure to replace traditional internal combustion engines, ICEs, with more eco-friendly options. With governments enforcing tighter emissions standards and consumers becoming more environmentally conscious, Automakers are racing to find cleaner solutions. This has led to a booming EV market, with brands like Tesla, Nissan, and General Motors at the forefront. Tesla, especially, has driven the EV surge, with models like the Model S, Model 3, Model X, and Model Y leading the charge. Yet the path to an all-electric future has its obstacles. Issues such as the energy-intensive process of battery production, limited driving range, the need for expansive charging networks, and environmental concerns tied to rare earth mining have raised doubts. Some now question if EVs can truly deliver on their promise to cut greenhouse gas emissions in the most effective way. Enter hydrogen combustion technology. Unlike traditional internal combustion engines that rely on gasoline or diesel, hydrogen combustion engines use hydrogen as fuel. When hydrogen is burned, it combines with oxygen in the air to produce water vapor as the primary emission, making it a zero-emission technology. The concept of hydrogen as a fuel source has been around for decades, but it has faced numerous hurdles including the lack of infrastructure, high production costs, and the challenges associated with storing and transporting hydrogen safely. Despite these challenges, hydrogen is considered by many as the holy grail of clean energy due to its abundance and the fact that it produces no harmful emissions. Porsche's entry into the hydrogen combustion arena is a game-changer for several reasons. Firstly, Porsche is not just any car manufacturer. It is a brand synonymous with luxury, performance, and engineering excellence. The company has a rich history of innovation, and its vehicles are known for their precision and power. By developing a hydrogen combustion engine, Porsche is not just joining the clean energy race. It is redefining it. The new engine promises to deliver the same high-performance characteristics that Porsche is known for, without the environmental drawbacks associated with traditional ICEs or the limitations of battery electric vehicles. Oliver Bloom has been at the helm of Porsche since 2015, and under his leadership, the company has embraced electrification with models like the Taycan, Porsche's first all-electric sports car. The Taycan has been praised for its performance, design, and technological innovation, positioning Porsche as a serious contender in the electric vehicle market. However, Bloom's latest announcements suggest that Porsche is not content with just being a player in the EV market. It wants to lead the charge in alternative propulsion technologies. The development of a hydrogen combustion engine is not just a strategic move for Porsche. It is a bold statement about the future of mobility. While electric vehicles have gained significant traction, they are not without their limitations. One of the biggest challenges facing EVs is the energy density of batteries. On the other hand, hydrogen-powered vehicles, particularly those with hydrogen combustion engines, offer advantages in scenarios where range, refueling time, and vehicle weight are critical factors. For example, Long-haul trucking, where vehicles travel hundreds of miles per day and require rapid refueling, is a sector where hydrogen could have a significant impact. Similarly, 
hydrogen may be better suited for heavy-duty vehicles such as buses and construction equipment, where the weight and energy density limitations of batteries are more pronounced. In the context of passenger cars, hydrogen combustion engines could appeal to consumers who prefer the characteristics of internal combustion engines, such as the sound, feel, and performance dynamics, but want a cleaner alternative to gasoline or diesel. Hydrogen combustion engines can deliver the same driving experience as traditional ICEs with the added benefit of zero emissions. This could be particularly appealing to car enthusiasts and those who are not yet ready to make the transition to fully electric vehicles. The relationship between hydrogen and electric vehicles could also evolve in terms of infrastructure development. As both technologies mature, there may be opportunities to integrate hydrogen and electric refueling infrastructure in ways that benefit both. For example, hydrogen refueling stations could be co-located with fast charging stations for electric vehicles, creating multi-fuel refueling hubs that cater to a wider range of vehicles. This would make it easier for consumers to access the type of fuel they need, regardless of the vehicle they drive. The success of hydrogen-powered vehicles will depend not only on technological advancements, but also on the efforts of both established automakers and new startups in bringing these technologies to market. Porsche's hydrogen combustion engine is a significant step forward, but it will take the collective efforts of the entire automotive industry to realize the full potential of hydrogen as a fuel. Major automakers like Toyota, BMW, and Hyundai have already made significant investments in hydrogen technology. Toyota's Mirai, introduced in 2014, was one of the first hydrogen fuel cell vehicles to be mass-produced. Toyota has continued to refine and improve the Mirai, and the company is also exploring other hydrogen applications, such as heavy-duty trucks and industrial equipment. Hyundai, too, has been a leader in hydrogen, with its Nexo fuel cell SUV and a focus on developing hydrogen solutions for commercial vehicles. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us your take on Porsche's new hydrogen engine? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching.